Good morning, Melbourne. I'm almost ready to head up for breakfast, but I can't help but stop and show you guys the amazing city skyline this morning. It looks so beautiful as the sun rises. I'm really looking forward to a good day today at the PVP Regional Championships. But first, I'm gonna head upstairs and get some breakfast, put some fuel in my tank, and maybe some coffee. Pokemon friends and welcome back to another Pokemon Go adventure with Cricket. My goodness, it is cold. It is literally snowing. It's basically snowing. You just can't see it here in Melbourne at St Kilda Town Hall. We are here today for the Melbourne, I nearly said Perth, goodness me, the Melbourne PVP Regional Championships and I am really looking forward to seeing how this event is run, what's different between Perth and Melbourne and how the competitive field turns out and what, what they do. There has been, besides the absolutely beautiful backdrop and classic architectural history that we have here to share with you guys there is quite a few competitors we have got the tcg the vcg and the pokemon go battle peeps and i'm very much looking forward to meeting everybody in the pvp scene down here in melbourne now as with the regionals event we have got the same same we've got sork and i'm gonna say throw spawning from the spinners but we've only got two championship uh, pokey stops here. Can I spin this one and get a gift? Nah, not yet, but I will. So let's just do a quick stock check. Oh, almost shiny. And another sock check. Oh, another almost shiny. Okay, so let's get inside. Let's explore the event. Let's meet the competitors and share with you guys all of the excitement of the East Coast first ever regional PVP championships. We found our first competitor, Sean. How are you feeling about competing in the Pokemon Go PvP Championships? Hey guys, I'm pretty nervous to be honest, but I'm quite excited to test out my skills and see how far we can go. Not too sure how we'll do, but let's see how it goes, alright? <laughs> the best attitude to have, just give it a go. Any yeah. spicy team insight? Um, my team is actually kind of meta. <laughs> I'm going to be running... Um, a Lickitung, Sableye, um, Registeel, Walrein, Medicham, and what was it? Uh, Nita Queen. <laughs> Sounds really good and similar to what I saw in Perth. Good luck! Awesome, I thanks can't wait a lot. to see how you go. Yeah, let's see how we go. <laughs> We're inside the St Kilda Town Hall Council Chambers. That is where we're, they're hosting the Pokemon Go portion of today's event. There's a big screen down the back. Now this screen is not gonna be used for projecting the battles because there's no spectators at this event. It's going to be used for showing the double elimination brackets because there's a double up seat. As you guys can see, uh, some comfy chairs in the back. Everyone is currently filling out their teams and getting prepared lots of serious faces and top tip don't share your team until you have to and we've run into some old friends from Newcastle. How's it going? Oh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> PvP Steve, you know what's with us Newcastle people just like finding each other and sticking together? I don't know man, I think we just travel everywhere. It's a special it's connection, it's exactly. a special bond That's that we it. make in Newcastle. Yeah. So as our resident PvP guy, oh. 
Explain to us the double elimination type format that we're running today. Yeah, so essentially we're gonna have about 60 people battling today and they're gonna be split down the middle. So there's 30 in group A and 30 in group B. Group A is gonna do a double elimination bracket, which means that you can lose you can lose once and you're still in it to win it in the losers bracket. And then on the other bracket, they're doing the exact same thing, a double elimination. And so both group A and group B, they whittle down to fewer and fewer people until eventually you get the last few that are gonna face each other tomorrow in day two. So I'm looking forward to it. That is very exciting and a very different format to the way that Perth was run because there is a lot more <laughs> competitors here that were able to register very quickly for Perth. We have another friendo and competitor. Yusai has travelled all the way from New Zealand. How was the trick? It was good. It was good. It was a four and a half hour flight. I've been here since Thursday. Um, it's been pretty nice here. Not as cold as I was expecting, so I packed a little warm. But yeah. Maybe I can borrow some of that warmth <laughs> because I'm freezing! You've just finished writing out your team, so you're ready to go and register. Yeah. Any sneak peeks? That looks spicy. We found another familiar face, my friend Fish on a Heater, who competed in Perth and actually placed fifth. And that was a really, really exciting battle to watch, which you guys saw some of, but this time for Melbourne, Fish, why don't you tell us what you're here? Yeah, so I'm an assistant referee. I uh, just saw how uh, wonderful a job and like uh, how much effort the, the refs over in Perth were putting in. And I was like, yeah, I really want to be a part of that. Just want to uh, do what I can for the Australian scene. Um, I have a lot of refereeing experience with the like the, the community format, yeah. Silver Arena, that kind of thing. So yeah, I just thought I'd lend my and own. And the competition experience, because yeah. you competed and went through the process with Perth. Yeah. So you've drawn from all that experience experience, all that knowledge, all that improvement that we would like to see in Australian esports and brought it home to referee. I'm yes. so proud and encouraged and excited by you sacrificing your gameplay <laughs> here in Melbourne yes. to look after the rest of the Australian PvP community. So thank you so much. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. All of the competitors have been registered and organized into their two different uh, tiers. So the first round of competitors is about to start. First round for East Coast and Melbourne. Yeah! And as you can see, there is lots of people waiting to go in the second round as well. So amazing turnout for Melbourne squad. Thank you so much for supporting this very first historic Pokemon Go PvP event. The battlers are still getting set up and I've got eggs ready to hatch and I have found a friend. Come here. Come on. <laughs> My friend Oz Alpha Wolf. Hello. Going to do a celebrity tap. So pick one and make a shiny. Drum roll. Brrr, bing. Okay, this one. Shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. 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 Speed up, shaky, shakies. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's a good, good egg. Granny Doss, okay, little head butter. Come on, stars, right, stars, come on. stars, stars, stars. Oh, Ooh. big time, Rex, Rex, drop, drop. Come on, baby. Nice. Yep. Really would love that as a shiny. Have you got it yet? Not yet, no. Cranny Doss, cranberry Doss. Come on. Almost a blue <laughs> Almost. shuffle. Not shiny yet, but we'll good to that. see. Come on. Oh, it's oh, just matching. It, it's just beautiful. It's just pretty to see. It makes me happy. Another crony dos and okay, that's it. Not bad. I had really big slugma energy mm. yesterday, but today it looks like I've got crony dos energy. You know, we're improving. There we we're go. improving.
dark outside, but we are making progress. Uh, winners round and the losers round or the lower bracket round for fourth round for both pods are both here, battling away as we speak. And for those that understand double elimination, then you will understand that both pods of the double elimination round are progressing. We're not sure if we're going to finish it tonight, but basically we're getting to the pointy end of the competition. People are starting to be eliminated and the battle competition is getting a bit more fierce and a bit more time to focus. The battles are still going on. Top 16 now and egg time. So let's hatch some good quality googies. We're gonna savage season, seasons? <laughs> That's seasoning those eggs for extra spicy Tyranitarisness. Oh, Lilamora. Tyranitar, that's not what that is. <laughs> shaky, shaky. Oh, another little Tyranosaurus Rex. Come on, sparkle me. Another one? That's three. What? Four. Four. Ah, uh, broke my streak. I gotta try it. A uh, little tri center. Try, try a little dinosaur trifecta. I can't talk anymore. It's been that big of a day that my words are broken. Shield on. Okay, this is. The, hello? Can. Oh, I was gonna say, can I get through a whole rack of eggs with no slug mark? Apparently not. Oh, please be shiny. Okay, so that is egg rack number six. Oh. I mean, it's a nice shade of almost green. It is almost green. <gasps> you said my line, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. We have come to the end of a very big day and we have our first top 16th place competitor, Arnoff. How was today's battling for you? Oh, it was it was great. You know, it was it was just nice to be part of the community again and um, mm -hmm. seeing everyone that we haven't seen in a long time. So it's been great. Any meta, any team info you can give everyone at home? Uh, bring your sable eyes. <laughs> oh, okay, spicy. And what did you win? Quarter of a deck. Not, not bad, bad. Not bad. <laughs> As a final call out to the people at home you got uh, anything to say to inspire the peeps that might want to give it a go just keep tapping guys and and make sure you have fun you know yeah have fun i love it keep tapping and have fun <laughs> that's what days like today are all about congratulations on being our east coast top 16th player thanks yay it's day two we have arrived back at the venue to see the top 16 i thought it might have been top eight Finish competing and we're just entering the room now. Meet up peeps are ready for Pokemon Go Research Day. Hi guys, wave, hi YouTube. Uh, but it's absolutely freezing and the trams aren't running properly. So maybe we'll just come inside and suss out the PvP competition, which looks like is kicking on. Fish, yeah. can you please give us an update with what's been happening? Uh, we have gone down to our final eight players and we've just started uh, battling with uh, with those people. The loser's bracket has almost completed now. We're down to our final match of the loser's bracket before we combine the groups into a final six. Okay, Oh, that's starting to feel really intense. Yeah, it's getting real sweaty. Have you seen, as a battler mm -hmm. yourself, yeah. have you seen any like meta changes or strategy thrown in for this Ooh. final? You, Eight slip, you know what? I've seen some some crazy teams. Uh, someone bringing a Shadow Sharpedo. Which I, I heard. Not seen. Yeah. I heard the Spice Sharpedo. Yeah, and they've done really well as yeah. well. And I've seen a few Drapion that yeah. I had didn't see in other regionals, um, yeah. but mostly it's been the same. A lot of Lickitung, a lot of Sableye, Metacham, yeah. Redistil. Because so. we had the our Acro, Aqua Spider. Yeah, we had yeah, the, the Aqua, Aqua Spider. spider. In Perth, yeah, so. there's been a few of those as well. Uh, okay. Probably a little more than what well, there was in Perth as well. So that's the it's starting to take hold a little bit.
best of five from now on. So be mindful of that because this is the top cut of the qualifiers. Side tournaments, proof that you can come and battle me in these side tournaments at the regional championships and uh, this is my, watch out for vultures, no peeking. This is, we're hiding behind this paper wall. This is my team. Yeah, I have got some top quality mons, some favorites, some good ones and <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. I'm doing this for casual yeah, players on. everywhere. Challenge expired. I'm mine accepted. It says mine expired. I think I won. <laughs> I think I won. Oh, I already lost the first round. <laughs> I lost the first round. <laughs> The finals have actually started, so we're trying to battle really, really quickly. They're, they're preparing, almost started, so get wrecked, Chenzo, so that everyone else can continue with their day. Okay. It's pretty! Oh no! He threw the weakness of a shiny Pokemon! Bill, 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 Bill! I see what you're throwing. Oh! I got lag. I got lag. He, you you used your spicy witch powers and lagged me. Judges. Judges. Yeah. That's allowed. Judges. That's allowed. That's allowed. <laughs> 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 oh, and... <laughs> yeah. I say I love because you love me, baby. I know you love me. You're literally the best around. Nothing's ever going to get you. Nothing's ever going to get you. The best <laughs> around. Leave. Leave. Oh, oh, leave. Jesus. Lived. No, 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 no. I, 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 I lived! Lived! Go! Go! Oh! <laughs> Yay! I'm on. <laughs> GG. Good time. So, if you want to have as much fun as us at the regional championships or just get involved in PvP, please do. You've got to start somewhere. So, please come and get involved and start. Now, the final is underway, so let's go and check out what is happening in the more serious action of today's event and who is going to be the next East Coast champion. I won something! Yeah, for participating, just for playing, you get to pick three booster packs. Ooh, what do I pick? What do I pick? Which, which okay, tell me, to you? tell me from the future but also the past. Okay, I like, I like. Oh, not that one. Not, 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 not that one? No, no, that's terrible. I've touched it. If, yeah, it's mine now. I've touched it. Yeah. I licked it, it's mine. <laughs> uh, one, and, mm, this one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good, good one, that good one. one. And then, I feel like something in that one, that one. All right, good luck. Yeah, thank you so much, Fish. <laughs> that's all right. Peace. Charizard, shiny, shiny, rainbow, goldy, and all of it, it's All new. of those things All of these things are in here. <laughs> Battle number three of the final. It's between Rick Flareon and Valiant Vish. And it's, it's good, it's intense. I wish I could show you some screen recordings, but I don't have that functionality here. This next one, one each, it's best out of five. We're almost at the decider.
this is literally PVP finals fire. We have got another Perth situation where Rick Flareon actually went the entire season, the entire two days without being defeated, just was defeated by Variant Vish. So that means he needs to be defeated one more time to actually be knocked out or win and claim champion. So we have got another bracket reset, another round of five intense GBL battles to go. So that's it. The champion has been decided and the finalists. So congratulations to both of you. Very well fought. I have a couple of questions. So I want to ask you both, how was your experience of the Melbourne, the East Coast uh, Pokemon Go Regional Championships? The first one, starting with yourself. Yeah, um, it's been amazing. Um, it's been awesome to finally meet a lot of people I've been battling and battling with and against. So. Yeah, it's been great, yeah. And what about you, Vish? No, likewise. I think it's uh, been fantastic to meet the community mm -hmm. uh, and actually test our skills uh, against each other as well. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's great to see uh, a large PvP community. I think that's, uh, that's great, that's fantastic. What made you both decide to participate or to compete? Um, I guess I was just worried I'd regret it if I didn't come, really. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm, Super glad I did come, so yeah. Yeah, same. I was thinking about it. I was off and on because uh, I think both of us had to travel from uh, New South Wales, right? Yes, from Sydney. Yes. Um, so it's a bit of a budget yep. a killer, but mm. I think I'm glad that both of us actually made it. Yeah. It's been good fun, yeah. Your teams that both of you guys picked are Rick Flaring. Can you please just give us a super quick rundown on why you took in the Pokemon that you did? Okay, so my team was uh, Registeel, Sableye, Surfetched, Lickitung, Talonflame, and Wolverine. Mm -hmm. um, they were all Pokemon I felt pretty comfortable using. Um, that's why I sort of stuck with them. Um, mm -hmm. I was looking at other options, but it just didn't feel as good. So I just went with what I know, and yeah, worked out really well. Good strategy, and yeah. for you, Vish? Yeah, so uh, I went in with a very similar team, uh, a few, yeah. few different changes though. So I went in with Talonflame, Registeel, Lickitung, Sableye, Swampert, and Metachamp. Mm -hmm. um, and my Metachamp was Pup Psychic, so that was a little bit interesting. And Swampert was a bit of a, um, it was a last minute inclusion. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually testing uh, Talonflame and Tapu Fini. Uh, I know we were mm -hmm. doing some uh, uh, practice beforehand, yeah. so Tapu Fini, uh, whilst it worked out really well in practice, 
I was afraid of the Needle Queen threat, so yeah, ah. I decided to uh, uh, switch it up into Swamp Bird, which worked out really, really well. So, yeah. yeah, awesome. Swamp Bird's one of my favorites. It's a, it's my Swiss Pokemon yeah, for yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great, yeah. One final thing that I want to ask you guys, I really, my vibe is to inspire and educate and get you guys at home to come to these events, participate and just have a go. Even if you get wrecked, just have a go. Do you have any words of encouragement? for the wide world um, out there. Yeah, just give it a go. Um, PvP's great. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> give it a go. <laughs> give it a go, yeah. No, PvP's fantastic, honestly. Like, despite the bugs, I think, um, you know, it's like a really interesting uh, way to test your skill Re real time, right? Mm -hmm. So real time uh, battling compared to VGC. Uh, I think that's really, really good, right, in terms of uh, how you actually adapt on the fly in the tournament and mid-battle as well. I think it's, like, all fantastic. So I think that's why you get into uh, Pokemon Go PvP is, is it actually uh, works all parts of the mind. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's great. It's fantastic. And I think um, the community as well is yeah. really good. Um, yeah. yeah, such a supportive group yeah. of people. And, uh, yeah. 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 No, I've never, I've never met uh, the community. Actually, this is the first time yeah. uh, that I actually got, got to meet them. So it's, Excellent. it's great. Uh, we were out yesterday, and that was really fun. Um, yeah. And then just out here, seeing the support, it's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. If you build it, they will come. It's especially Pokemon Go people. So hashtag for the love of the game. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you for being yeah. humble warriors in our <laughs> East Coast decider of who is going to be the champion. Uh, good luck with Worlds. Thank you. Yeah, so that's it. No need to do any spicy Pokemon checks just yet. So guys, please check the links in the description below for Patreon, for Twitch, for all the good stuff. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share and we will catch you on the next PvP Arena. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.